But you know, you can't just totally fully blame France over here. Mm. Because these puppets are used to always running to their colonizers to seek help and to seek aid. They're the mm. first one to be asking for aid. Mm. And so now these imperialistic countries, like France also, for example, comes out here and says, okay, fine, we'll give you aid, but we have interests there. Mm. We have untapped oil, Chad. We need some of that. Mm. So, okay, okay, what is it again, Chad? Chad, what is it? <laughs> are you having problem with that particular party, that opposition? Okay, don't worry, we'll facilitate the transition politically. Mm. Yes, we'll send in people, we'll do talks, we'll give money here, we'll, we'll calm the waters down. These puppets keep running to the colonizers. Mm. Yes, we want these colonizers out. You need to have a spirit of Ibrahim Traore and that confederation. They are no longer going to the, to the colonizers there. So if you're going to say, France, get out, hey, you need to now start doing things properly, huh? Yeah. And you must never run back there whether to seek freaking advice or to seek this, to seek that. But we all know there are colonial pacts that the funding freaking forefathers have signed. Mm -hmm. That's why France perhaps also has always reserved the right to come out here and play a role in the political affairs. Yes. Yes, it's true. Mm. That's what they do. That's why France is out here talking and saying we have interest today, man. You think France will say we have interest today if they have nothing on paper? Mm. They have to have some sort of a proof and say, no, man, let them just say what they say, but we have interest there. They cannot just do that. There's certain signatures, there's certain documents that was signed that gives France the freaking balls to come out here and say, we have interest to protect there. Mm. You can't say you have interest to protect there if it's not on paper. Yeah. Not in this world, not on that level. Mm. You can't just come out here and say, we have interest. <laughs> it's, it's written some way. Colonial pacts. The confidence is coming from somewhere. Yes, colonial pacts for the continuization of colonization. Mm. Near colonialism. The system has been put in place to benefit us. Mm. Even when new people come out here with all sensation, <laughs> you say, leave, 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 leave what? We'll use French agents if we have to, to get back in there. Mm. To be in control of what? Of our interests. You think we give you independence for free? Are you out of your freaking mind or what? Free independence. So basically, they give you this whole country for free. No way. After they had it in the palm of their hands like this. After they came there to colonize them and to take mm. complete control. And they were in control. They brought the doctor's gown. They enslaved them. And they were, they, they were the superpowers. Yeah. yeah. And it was going on for freaking decades. One morning they got up and they said, take it all back for free. For mm. free. Nothing is for free. Please. This, <laughs> look, it's deeper than what they show us here. Huh? Mm. That, that's why you see... You remember what happened to uh, that story we're talking about Wataro, that Africa in 2010 and 2011. Mm. That particular president there, before that 2010, 2011, it was, there were elections there. Mm. Wataro and that Bakba, or Bakba, that one, yeah. before Wataro. He didn't want to relinquish power. Mm. And so France and the United Nations played a role into making sure that he was removed. Mm -hmm. They said we only recognize, we recognize Watara as the legitimate, newly democratic elected leader mm. of Avri Coast. And they, they took advantage of certain freaking articles of the United States Security Council um, in then conducting certain freaking military operations in Avri Coast. Jeez. The point where they even bombed that freaking palace, the presidential palace, mm. because they believe that's where that previous president's loyalists mm. hanged around. So they did everything to do. Just imagine. That's, a, that's, an, that's not an independent country. No. Nope. It's not an independent country. If that's another country can come in there and conduct stuff like that, you are not independent. That is France for me. That is just France, Ivory Coast right now. You know what? You know what? Uh, yes, fine. France went to the United Nations and they used certain clause, certain powers from the articles mm. from the United Nations. Mm. But why? Why? What gave France the right mm. to be able to do that? It's those, those, those colonial pacts that they signed. Do you know why I keep emphasizing on these colonial pacts? Mm. It's because a lot of Africans are not aware of this. Mm. They find it too hard to believe. 
They mm. don't truly believe still. A lot of Africans are out here, despite, regardless of what African country, a lot of Africans are out here thinking it's probably a lie. Yeah. There's no such thing as colonial pacts. Yes. No. There's no such thing. We have a... We have our independence. There's no need for... There's, there's no way that uh, they would give us independence with stipulations, with conditions. No way. A lot of Africans do not consider that thought. Hmm. But that is where some of these imperialistic country or some of these colonial rulers are holding most African countries by stratum. Hmm. That's right there where they have them like this. Hmm. That's where they reserve the right to invade them and conduct operations. Mm. Yes. Those colonial pacts. Just imagine. Same thing with these chads and all these Burkina Faso and Mali and Niger. There are certain freaking pacts, certain things. Because France wouldn't just come out here and say, we need to protect our interest in the region. <laughs> if it wasn't signed somewhere. Yeah, there's nothing on the dotted line. Mm. Anywho.